Praxis, and you're looking at a guy that only has one inspection left to go before the house is able to be moved into. The plumbing inspection just happened, it just kept getting kicked down the road, it was supposed to be yesterday and didn't work out for them to come, and then it was supposed to be this morning and it didn't work out for them to come, but they just came at 3 o'clock actually, but then they had a delay, it was like quarter or four, they showed up, but uh, we're good. Uh, they agreed with me that the uh, issue of the rocking toilet downstairs was addressed in sort of a ridiculous way, the way that the plumbers had fixed the the fact that the toilet was jingling downstairs on the concrete was they just shoved some random pieces of wood underneath it. Uh, I don't even think that they're pressure treated or anything. Uh, they agreed that, that was ridiculous, but they was they you know they were like, okay, you can pass the inspection, but you you'll probably wanna wanna hit that. Oh, also on the topic of the plumbers, I did get their final invoice, which they sent out before they even contacted the uh, inspector, which is all part of their contract. They did not they forget a lot of things, but they didn't forget to uh, send me a bill. Uh, and one other thing that they forgot to do was include my last payment on the bill. Uh, there was an initial deposit, and then there was a uh, another uh, you know sum of money that I sent them after they did the majority of the work. Uh, then once they finished pretty much everything, uh, with the exception of like the last little tweaks and things, I sent them a third payment. Well, on the last invoice, uh, they didn't include that third payment on there. Uh, and I mentioned that to you because that third payment was for like $2,000. They essentially billed me for an extra $2,000 that I had already paid them. And so if you ever hire people, it's a good idea to check the invoices because, you know, if I just paid the thing without really questioning it and comparing it to my records, you know, I would have given them an extra $2,000. Uh, you know, I, I don't know whether this stuff is intentional or whether it's just craziness, but I do know that all the mistakes that have been made by any contractors have always been in their favor. So, you know, the fact that it's not 50-50, uh, you know, I think that illustrates you know, where a lot of these mistakes are coming from. Anyway, in terms of my work today, I've been working more on these shelves, and I know I've been here for a while, um, and one of the reasons for that is that even when you're working on something that's not particularly big, uh, oftentimes it's still a lot of boards. Uh, you know, I'm cutting up all these strips. These strips are going up here, and the shelves are going to be resting on top of them. There's also going to be a support in the front. And, uh, you know, even though these strips are very tiny, they weigh almost nothing, every one of these strips has six sides. It all needs to be cut to particular dimensions and smooth and sanded, and there has to be holes drilled in it. So whether you're building something big with a lot of big boards or small with a lot of small boards, oftentimes it's still the same number of boards, it can, and it can take a while. So this shelf system here is taking a little bit. You can kind of start to see the first one over here. Uh, I haven't secured it down or anything, but these are the 10-inch uh, boards. Are they 10 inches or 12? I think it's 12. These are the 10-inch boards that are going to be used. There's going to be one here, and actually I can kind of illustrate the way they're going to work is there's going to be another one up on this level, and there's going to be a vertical support in the front holding up the front, and the back's uh, supported there. Over on this side, there's going to be a board running up here that it'll get secured to from the side, and then there'll just be one after another going up here. It'll kind of stay but there. I wouldn't put anything on it, but you know, it gives you a sense of kind of what we're aiming for. And there's these shelves are going to wrap all the way around this whole area. This is going to be our our library. So. Tomorrow is going to be the final inspection. As soon as the plumbing inspector left, I called the uh, uh, main building inspector and said, hey, we're good, we're ready, you can come on whenever you uh, are available. And he said he'd come tomorrow around 2 o'clock. So that's the plan. So in tomorrow's video, we'll see. But just one more inspection to go. And if, it, if we get passed through it, then we can move in just before Christmas. Just barely. That's it. Thanks for watching.